Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com. I'm running a few minutes late today, so I will give just a minute while I am gathering people and getting my computer up and running here so I can see comments. And probably even more important than seeing comments, although they are important, is to be able to see what you're seeing to make sure I'm in the camera and that um, things are running smoothly. So, hey there, Simone. I'm glad you're here with me today. I have my little um, special here so that everybody can see my ordering special that I have running right now. And this runs all the way through the 23rd. That's the day I come home from England. We are leaving Monday at four in the morning um, to head to the airport. And we are going to visit our son and his family and our two youngest grandchildren. We're super excited. And um, lots going on trying to get ready for the trip. And in the middle of that, we have a crew here today filming us for a commercial. So that was kind of fun. We installed, um, we redid a couple of the showers in our house and they, the company liked us and they liked how everything turned out. So yeah, they asked if they could come and film us. So it was fun. It just wasn't, today wasn't the best day to do it. So, you know, here we are. Okay. Let me show you what we're going to do. First of all, this is my ordering special. I have awesome mystery boxes heading your way at the end of the month when you use this host code on minimum $50 orders. So, Marsha, thank you so much for sharing my video, and it is great to see Barbara here, and Jackie is here, and Simone is here, so lots of fun things going on. Barbara, thank you so much for your order. Okay, let me show you where we're gonna go today. Today is Thursday, and that means we do simple and stepped up stamping. So our simple, well, we're doing both with this bottled happiness. This is a fun stamp set, and it's only $23. It is photopolymer, and um, so you can see right through it, and you can do all kinds of fun things. You can do large, full bottles, you can do, uh, well, large bottles and short, squatty bottles. Um, really fun flowers that you can do all kinds of things with and some really lovely, um, some lovely fonts and messages and you even have a little top for your bottle. And if you want to go, I'm going to fill it with flowers today, but you can also do some other things with it. Now this month, the um, hashtag simple stamping challenge is Stamps Ink Paper, one of your favorite new ink color. Well, <laughs> every one I use, I decide is my new favorite. But I decided to go with my first favorite today, and that is Parakeet Party. So, uh, and then it's also supposed to be a thank you. So this does not have a thank you message. So I'm pulling in, I wanted kind of a bold thank you. So I'm using this one from Blessings of Home. Blessings of Home stamp set, which also is available in a bundle, is um, from our mini catalog. You can get just the stamps for $25. If you get the bundle together, it is $51.25. This carried into our new annual catalog. So that's what we are using. Let's get busy. I have um, used my little, uh, I'm using my little, um, foam mat because we're using photopolymer stamps today. Okay, and I've got them already mounted and ready to go. You are gonna love this. Let's do our simple card first. Now I have a panel of basic white cardstock. This is five by three and three quarters. And we are going to start by making the, the bottle is going to be at the bottom of my card. I'm using Parakeet Party. And the large, I, I got the, um, the tall skinny bottle, not the short squatty bottle. <laughs> so these photopolymer stamps, they stick stick, but that's good. And um, I am going to put this right about, 
Let's go a little off center and a little not too far down at the bottom. So right about there. And you know with your photopolymer stamps, you wanna hold down for a couple of seconds before you lift. Perfect, I love it. And I'm going to use that again, so let's leave that there. But let's move it over to the side for a minute. I've used my bottle stamp. Now I'm gonna use pumpkin pie. I'm gonna use the flower stamp next. I'm gonna ink up these flowers and I'm gonna do a fun technique called kissing. I haven't done this in forever and I thought, you know, as I was looking at these stamps, I thought this would be a fun stamp set to do that with. So you can see that I've been using this stamp um, with several different colors and they do stain sometimes, but that's okay. Um, so you just got this stamp set today, yay, Jackie. So are you able to share this for us to print off? I will, I will have it ready. Uh, probably won't be until later this evening, but I will have this. So I am turning this upside down because this is kind of a large stamp to ink up. Now I'm using pumpkin pie, and let me tell you why I'm using pumpkin pie. I will list, I, I will link this. So this is a little file that Stampin' Up! provides for us with all the colors and also with each new set of in colors. So I can see right here, this is the, this is the um, color scheme I'm going with right here today, Parakeet Party Garden Green and Pumpkin Pie. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of Poppy Parade. So, oh, I got picked up the wrong, wrong color over here. Um, the wrong red in my basket. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Poppy Parade and I'm running out of room here. Let's pop that there. I'm gonna use a sponge dauber. Now, sponge daubers, I think they're still five for five dollars. They might be six dollars, but um, you get five of these little guys and they have, they're almost like little finger puppets. And uh, you can do a lot of fun things with them. And when I first started using these, I would wash them out and use like one for all the reds and one for all the greens. And yeah, for me, I'm a lazy stamper. So now I have one for each color, but that's, that's just me, not necessary. Now, I inked this up with Poppy Parade. I'm gonna come in here with the, I inked it up, sorry, with pumpkin pie. There's a lot of peas here today. I'm gonna take Poppy Parade and I'm going to touch, just kiss those little edge, the little kind of flower heads on the edge and bring in that darker color. Then I'm gonna come in to the center of the flowers and I'm just gonna to touch them, give them a little bit of, um, a little bit of character, a little bit of variety there. Now I am gonna close this up just to make sure I don't drop something in it. <laughs> this one's a little bit stiff, there we go. Now, because I've, been working with this for a couple of seconds, I am going to huff on it. All that means is I'm gonna breathe on it. And I'm gonna do that off camera so you don't have to look at me breathing on my stamp. <sighs> okay, that is just going to kind of re-moisten the ink, make sure it hasn't dried on me. Now you can kind of see, I'm angling that first, that large flower right at the top of the neck of the bottle and I'm holding it in place for a couple of seconds. Now you're gonna love this. Voila, look at the colors there. See how I've got now orange and red. I've got all that variety instead of just one color. So you know what I probably should do just for, let me just get another panel just to show you the difference because You may not appreciate the depth of color if you don't see the difference in just one, one shade on here. So let me get this really good with my, with my chamois. Okay, let's try again. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, this is just a, it's just a piece of basic white cardstock. So I'm going to come in here with the pumpkin pie and I'm just going to stamp it there so you can see the difference whether if I use the, um, the extra colors or not. So, of course I've got this upside down. Okay, 
There we go. So you see the difference between just the pumpkin pie and then when we've added the extra colors. I think it really makes it pop. And of course, most of the time in nature or in our, um, you know, in what whatever we're, well, it's up a little bit high, isn't it? In our bouquet of flowers, they typically aren't just one solid color. So I like the way that adds color. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the, um, leaves. So what I'm going to do is these leaves, I'll just stamp out of here, I'm going to ink them up with Parakeet Party, and then I'm going to open up my Garden Green ink, and I'm going to grab another sponge dauber. Now you see why you'd want to have, to, thankfully you get five in a package, um, but this I'm going to ink up and I'm going to just kiss these larger leaves. That's actually gonna help um, bring a little bit of definition as well to the ones that, uh, the green that's in the center of the flowers, I'm gonna keep nice and light. You know, Parakeet Party is a gorgeous lime green. It's light, it's bright, yeah, it's, it hits all the right notes. Now you see when you, when you line this up, the easiest way to do it is to put the little center of the flowers. That's what I'm gonna line up. And it takes just a second and you just kind of keep turning until you're right where you want it and then boom, that's it. Yeah, so this is a perfect stamp set for this kissing technique. And it's a great technique for new, brand new people. You see that? You see how I have the green that coordinates here with my bottle? And then I also have that nice garden green. You see, I got that, yeah, I got my bottle up too high. You know, it'll be okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move these ink pads out of the way and move this out of the way. I am gonna go ahead and stick this down to a garden green panel. And my panel is five and a quarter by four. And I chose the garden green because I wanted to have that strong contrast. And I knew that darker green would give me that. And then I'm gonna layer that onto a card base of Parakeet Party. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So this is a top fold card. And this is just 11 inches by four and a quarter, and where is my toolkit? Can't see a, see this is what gets a little bit dangerous for me. Sorry about the arm in the camera, but I've got open ink pads and a bone folder. Here we go, here we go. So let's just pop this on here. I mean, this is a quick and easy card, super easy to put together. You can do it in a whole host of colors. They all look good. I do like the brightness of this. Now, I need to put a thank you message on here. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to take just a little scrap of Garden Green cardstock, and I'm gonna ink up this thank you but I only want to say thank you, and this is thank you for inspiring me. So I'm just going to take a little scrap, stamp it on here, and then I'm going to fussy cut that. And this is why I like to have long bladed scissors in my studio, because you see how I'm just going to hand cut that. Nothing fancy, super simple. I'm not getting all, you know, stressed about it. I'm just cutting it super simple. Sort of, kind of cutting it straight. But again, just not really worried about it too much. And this is just a really easy way to take word stamps and use them in more, um, in more ways. I didn't want thank you for inspiring me. I just wanted thank you. Simple thank you. This is stamps, ink, and paper. That's all there is. Now, I would prefer to have my bottle down a little bit farther, but I think that is going to help balance it. So there you go. Stamps, ink, and paper 
hashtag simple stamping, super simple, bright, pretty card. Now we're gonna step it up. So let's see where we're gonna go. We are gonna step it up by using the coordinating vintage bottle punch. Now, this is a $19 punch. If you purchase it with the stamp set, you get a bundle price, which means you save $10. And that's fun. So what we're gonna do, because that means I can buy more stamps, I can buy more punches. <laughs> I'm gonna take the same five by three and three quarter inch basic white panel of cardstock. I am going to feed this in. Now this time it is gonna be really kind of where it should have been last time. And that is because it's only gonna go in so far. So your, your bottle is automatically gonna be kind of near the bottom of your card. And I am I don't wanna put it in the middle because I want my words to be there, so I am gonna bring it over just a little bit, but I don't want it too far over because I want all my flowers to be on the card. So there is my little punched piece. Now, I've got to do some stamping, so I'm gonna bring this back over here, my little mat. And we're gonna, do, we're gonna stamp it the exact same way. So let's start with the flowers. Now I do recommend when you have used two different ink colors on here, I want to um, clean this really well. And sometimes I just pick up my chamois and you see how sometimes you just have to kind of get your hands in there to really get down into all the crevices of your stamp. So that is Candy's way of getting ink on her fingers. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's ink it up with pumpkin pie first. And then let's grab the sponge dauber and poppy parade ink. And I'm just going from the recommended colors on my little color coach that Stampin' Up! has provided for me. It is one of my favorite tools to use. And different people um, store them different ways. Uh, my assistant, Darlene, she puts them into a little binder, like a little mini binder. I need mine like right in front of me. So I find, I don't wanna have to flip something open. I find the little, you know, just a little notebook ring, binder ring works really well for me. Okay, here we go. Now that is going to go just like this. I must say, I love these orange and red flowers. They just look so pretty. Very summery. Ha ha, look at there. Bang, perfect. Now I am gonna, I'm gonna take one second and clean this stamp. Remember we are doing simple stamping today, stamping in paper. But this is our stepped up version, so we have punched, and we're going to use that cute little um, bottle thingy that goes in there. Okay, so first of all, concentrate candy. First of all, I've got to put my leaves on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink up my leaves once again and I am going to clean if I was just using parakeet party and using parakeet party again I would I wouldn't even have to clean it first but I've got two different colors going on here and I don't want to put garden green ink in my parakeet party ink pad that is not recommended so let's come back in here with my garden green ink and let's just kiss these leaves Give them a little bit of darkness, a little bit of depth. You could go in and add some more, but I think that that is enough. And now I'm going to line up those little, where am I? Here we go. Yeah, right there, the center of the flowers. So just take a second and angle your stamp until you can see through them right where you want. Don't try to line up the leaves, just line up the center of the flowers right here. And then, voila, I have two luscious shades of green. Now I'm gonna leave my green ink pad, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's just do all the stamping while I have my ink out, and then I can put that away. Let's 
take another scrap of green and our thank you stamp and we will cut this in a few minutes because we are going to grab the little dome. It's a shaker dome. We're gonna make this into a shaker card and this is so cute. It's so cute. Now, this is the way they come. They're small, these vintage bottle shaker domes. They're item number 158788. I'll have all of that on the little um, inspiration sheet for you. And I'm leaving them like this, and I'll tell you why. Because with these shaker domes, I don't want that getting scratched. So I'm just leaving it in here to protect it. It also is not gonna fly open that way. Everything stays nice and tidy. And then I am going to, it has a, a little self-adhesive thing on the front and the back. So I'm gonna take off the one from the front first, and I have fingernails. If you don't, you can just use your pick a tool. And then I'm going to put this, put a piece of cardstock under here so you can see it. I'm gonna put that there, and I'm just going to lay my punched card right over the top, get it positioned, and then press. And that presses it into place, okay? Now, before I go any further, I want to grab two things. I'm gonna use just a little piece of basic white to seal this up once I get the pieces in here. So you can just, I think this is like three by two. Any size scrap will work. So I'm going to fill this not too full with these effervescent elements. These are really lovely. Not only are they effervescent, they're also kind of, um, iridescent. So, hi, Cynthia. I'm glad you're here with me. So, I'm just going to take a couple of scoops. Now, if they start getting away from you, <laughs> they will be all over everywhere. So, just be forewarned. And you could even get a little, you know, like a little spoon or something. That would probably be better. And I'm going to get just a few more. Now, I will tell you, if you get it too full, yeah, it's just, then they won't roll around in there and you lose the shaker effect. So now I am going to take the other little piece of protective um, coating layer off of there. And now I just wanna seal this up. Now you could seal it with a color and then you would have that, ooh, that would be really pretty with the green. I could have a green bottle underneath it. What do you think? I could do the white, it's gonna look clear. If I do the green, it's gonna add that green. Or, you know what, I could, let me see if I can grab a quick piece of, do I have a scrap of, ha ha, nope. Do I have a scrap of Parakeet Party? Let's see. Oh, I do. This was right over at my cutting station, so I'm gonna use Parakeet Party. So that is going to give us a green bottle. Oh my gosh, oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so glad you're stamping with me today. So now I'm just pressing that in, and I have this adorable, adorable shaker element for the front of my card. Now, when I go to mat this up, I'm gonna layer it up, I find because I have this shaker element already done, I'm gonna put my adhesive on my panel. Oop, shouldn't have gone all the way to the edge. I'm used to doing it. You know what, I'm gonna do, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. We're gonna put this on the front of the card. So our card, this is a traditional card base with a top fold. This is 11 by four and a quarter. Let's just put this down here. Now I will do what I meant to do to start with, and that is I'm gonna put adhesive directly on here, but I don't wanna to get too close to the edge because I'm gonna put this little panel on here. So you can change, you know, based on which cardstock you put behind your bottle will change the color of your bottle. So if you want it to be, you know, kind of a soft blue, you could do like balmy blue or you could do um, pool party but I think this green brings everything together. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so press, press. Now I'm going to bring in my little, th 
thank you. And again, I'm just using, you know, these are just cheapy scissors that I keep for opening things. And but that long blade is what you need when you're gonna cut something straight like that. Then I'm going to leave it flat. I'm not gonna put it up on dimensionals. I should probably should have on my first one because everything was flat. This one, because I have this is so tall, I'm gonna keep this flat. And then you are going to love my final little touch. I cannot wait to show you. Okay, this, this is a tiny little piece. Ay! Tiny little scrap of cardstock. Thank you. Isn't that a, I love it. You know what, shaker cards are so fun. I mean, anybody of any age, they open that up and they just go, oh my gosh, isn't that fun? But the piece de resistance, I gotta get my stamp back out. You are going to have a fit. Wait till you see what we're going to do. Did I already put my stamp away now? need my bottle stamp. Where did you go? The bottle stamp is somewhere here. Flower. Ah, oh, here we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to put a doily under it. Of course, you know. How did I get stuff on there? What am I doing? Spitting on this or what? Lord have mercy. What did I get on that? How did I get little speckles on there? Um, you know, I had my little eraser out here earlier. What did I do with it? Can the candy find it? Um, my little tool kit. I had it. Now I can't find it. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna fix that with a little eraser. But before that, what I'm gonna do is I'm bringing this back out and this is fun. Now, I experimented with this with the punch and this, I can't get this to feed into the punch. So I want to create a little, a little bottle-shaped neck here, and I couldn't get it with this, either direction. And this is too wide for the bottom. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna stamp the bottle on the white side of my doily. And that's gonna tell me exactly where I'm going to cut. Ooh. Theoretically, let's get a little bit more ink there. Okay, now I'm gonna need my paper snips. Now you can tell, you see how I love every shade of lime green? You see it in all my scissors, you see it everywhere. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this bottle right here, and that is going to allow my little doily to look like, you know, like you put a little doily underneath your vase of flowers. That's the look I'm going for. Let's see if I can achieve it. And I'm just doing white on white because it's just going to be that little, oh my gosh. I love it. You tell me what you think. Is that not just the cutest I think it's adorable. And I don't mind that it's kind of hanging here. Um, it's because of how far down the punch goes, but I think it's just that little extra touch that I think is super adorable. Now I could probably even cut this down a little bit further and maybe get it to come um, up a little bit farther. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see. This just, you know me, if I can find a way to put a doily on there, I'm gonna put it on there. Oh yeah, see there? I just cut it down just a little bit farther. Ay, 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 I love it. Now I've got to stick that down really well. And then that's gonna bug me. I need my little, I had my little uh, sanding eraser out earlier. So let me find that and then I'm gonna post I'm gonna download this video to YouTube and I'm going to post it on, um, on YouTube and I'm gonna give a little, um, I'm gonna give a little, um, 
inspiration sheet. You know, it makes, I wanna put some little bling there, but I don't wanna distract from that. So let's see what we can come up with. Let's see. Um, and I know there are some, there's some adorable little in color embellishments that would be perfect here, but I bought two and I can't find any, either one anywhere in my studio and I have cleaned and cleaned this studio. I cannot find them anywhere. Let's see what I can come up with. Maybe I'll use some of these little white dots because they're, they're a flat finish or like that. Let's see. Oh, that might be kind of nice. Hmm. Or maybe a little bit of gold in those flowers. Ay, ay, ay. I thought rhinestones might be a little bit too blingy. These aren't the right colors. Yeah, my in color ones would be perfect, but I can't find them. So let's see. Let's just stick down. Oh, well, those are from last year. Those are in color things. Um, okay. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm gonna stick this down. And I think I'm gonna use just a wee touch of liquid glue. So let me find that. And let me just put this here next to it so you can see simple and stepped up, side by side. For comparison, yeah, you can see I got that way too high. of liquid glue. Oh, a butterfly. Thank you, Lisa. See, this is why when I think out loud and I talk to you guys, we make a great design team partnership. Ooh, way too much. I need just a touch of this glue. I don't want it splodging everywhere. That is the thing with this liquid glue is you do have to use it with a spare hand on tiny embellishments like this. Okay, let's do this and then we're gonna find those brass butterflies and that is gonna be the perfect touch for my stepped up card with the little doily underneath it. Oh my gosh, I think it's adorable. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love it. Love it, love it. Um, let's see. Those embellishments are right here. What do you think? Does it look like one of those little, I probably should trim this just a bit. You know, you know I'm not gonna be able to leave this alone. That needs to come down just a little bit. That, yeah, that was too much right there. Oh boy, this is already stuck down. This is when Candy starts messing with it when she should leave it alone, but you know. Can I get it up? Yep, yep. Okay. The little imperfections are because Candy can't leave it alone. Okay, here we go. Let's grab, oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much, Lisa. Why do I forget about these? These were in these are, not were, they are in our little um, mini catalog and they made it into our annual catalog. So we will have these for quite some time to play with. And that's crooked too. Uh, videos filmed for you guys. You know, I'm leaving Monday and I'll be gone for two weeks. But I am not leaving you without some inspiration here. So be sure to check in because I'm gonna have some pre-recorded videos for you. One, two, three, four, let's get one more. And I'm gonna have some pictures and some other videos for you. So I am going to be with you in spirit. And I'm also gonna have some pictures of my grandkids on here. So there we go, definitely stepped up. We went from very simple. You could add a doily to the other card too. It's you're exactly right. I could. I you know what? That would probably help that. Um, you know where it looks a little bit um, too far down. 
So if I just take a quarter of a doily, I like that, Pam. Thank you for a great suggestion. And the reason I cut it that way is because I, I don't, I don't know, let's try. Let's just try doing right on here and seeing if it works. But I think it won't go around the bottom of the bottle. Yeah, see, it kind of looks funky that way. I need it. To, so that's why we do the little bit of stamping and the little bit of cutting. I mean, only it's a tiny bit. It just takes a second. But it does make a difference, I think. So that the so that it looks like it's sitting on top of an actual doily. So let's grab a darker color this time because it'll be easier to see. So let's grab this. I just need to ink up the bottom of that bottle so I know exactly where to trim. And then we're gonna bring it like so. So, and yes. So now let's trim where the bottle is, but we don't want it to, let's see, we want this to go down pretty far, a little bit below the stamp so that it will tuck right up into that bottle. And I don't want these spiky things. It looks a little bit funky when you get that in there. That's what I was trying to trim away after I already had it down. And let's just, let's see if I can just do a little seal here. Just a touch of seal. That's all I need, just a touch. And now, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I think I trimmed it a little bit too much. <laughs> I got a little bit, a little bit excited on that one. Can I bring it in just a little bit? Yeah, I trimmed it a little bit too much, so that kind of shows you. Not bad though, not bad. Super cute, I like it. I like them both. Makes it look like it's sitting on a table with a little doily underneath. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got all my scraps. My little cut scraps are all sticking to my card. So that is it for today. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that thing. It's going way down in there. Um, that is simple and stepped up for today using the Bottled Happiness um, bundle. And so we started with stamp, sink, and paper. Then we stepped up with the fun, fun vintage bottle domes. We added some butterflies, we added a doily, and these are just happy cards. I think Parakeet Party is just that happy color. It's light, it's bright, it's fresh, and I think that you could send these to people and they would love it. Now, I will say, I have to experiment a little bit with how I'm gonna mail this. Um, I think you definitely have to just put a little bit of, um, like, the, the fine bubble wrap and use a uh, butterfly stamp, you know, the non-machinable stamps, and then you're in. So that is it for today. Candy at sweetstamper.com. I will have a little inspiration sheet on here for you tonight. And don't forget, I have an ordering special. Here is your host code is XXQUEE9F. And this is my ordering special during the time that I am gone to England. And I will have some fun boxes as ordering thanks for you when I return. So on minimum fifty dollar uh, minimum fifty dollar orders, I'm going to send you a mystery box, and every box will have at least a stamp set. It will have at least some cardstock and some designer series papers. Some of them will have bundles and punches because they increase with value as your order increases. So I'm going to tuck in all kinds of extras. I've got ribbons and embellishments I'm gonna be tucking in. I have some 3D um, like projects. I've got some class kits, all kinds of little extras I'm gonna add in to the minimum. And um, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. The little extras are not even part of the value. So like when you place a hundred dollar order, you're going to get $75 in product, but then I'm also going to throw in a lot of little extras. So these are fun. I've already been planning them, plotting them, and just wanting to shower you with thanks and appreciation for 
shopping with me while I am spending time away overseas with my family. Thank you so much again for tuning in and take care. God bless. I will be here in spirit only next Tuesday, but I will have a pre-recorded video for you. So be sure and tune in. I think I'm going to have a studio tour for you. So I will see you online next week. Take care and God bless.